warm welcome, literally warm welcome from Lucerne in Switzerland from Alexander Linz. I'm head of content of watchadvisor.com. Why did I say literally warm welcome? It's amazingly hot here in Lucerne. It's not only hot because it's summer, it's also hot because Lucerne is one of the hotspots to buy a really good Swiss mechanical wristwatch. And today, in cooperation with Embassy, we are going to show you guys some amazing watches. We're going to start with some chronographs. We have more to come, but the chronographs will be these ones you're going to see if you watch this video. And guys, be sure to see this video until to the end because at the end we will screen in a little voucher and with that voucher you will get a Swissness surprise you shouldn't miss. And look what we have to show you. So the next five watches I have the pleasure here to present to you at Embassy in Luzerne are chronographs. Still a category of watches that is very much uh, trendy even if people are telling that chronographs are no longer uh, really uh, a watch that people want to buy, I can tell you it's not true. The five chronographs we have on the tray here are exceptional timepieces. Each of them is particular, that's why we chose them. Um, the first one is uh, Gira Perigo Laureato, the rebirth of the iconic watch of uh, Gira Perigo, now available also as a chronograph. We have the Zenith Defi chronograph that is able to measure one hundredth of a second. We have the new Breitling Navi Timer 8 in the execution with a Valjou uh, movement, not with the in house. Uh, we have uh, the IWC uh, Yacht Cube chronograph, fantastic timepiece also. And on top of it, last but not least, the A. Langian Söhne 1815 chronograph. Uh, that's something, um, yeah, it's hard to explain the beauty of that movement. Just a first look, a very first look, what I will present you just in a couple of minutes. In the same order as I just showed you in the brief uh, preview on the tray, I will present you the watches now. And in my hands is the Shira Perigo. Laureato Chronograph, uh, the newest version of uh, the uh, the newest introduction in the Laureato collection is the Chronograph. As you all know guys, the, the Laureato, this iconic timepiece that was created in the 60s was almost forgotten by Gira Perigo, unfortunately. I don't know why they did it, but uh, now since the watch or the Laureato collection is back, uh, the uh, fan, the community around it is getting bigger and bigger and these watches are really gorgeous and um, in my personal opinion the uh, Laureato belongs in the same category as the Patek Philippe Nautilus, uh, the Vacheron Constantin overseas, the Ingenieur from IWC so it's it's one one kind of type of watch and you also have to name of course the Audemars Piguet um, Royal Oak so that's one category that's kind of a luxury SUV you buy it's a type of sport watch um, you wear and it's particular since it's outstanding and this chronograph um, is available either with a leather strap as it is in the execution you see here you can wear it with a rubber strap or with a metal bracelet so it's the way you can change uh, or in individualize uh, the watch um, this is the this is the version with a very 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 nice blue dial, and uh, if you uh, take a closer look, you will also see. And this is a little detail I would just want to point out that even the color of the of the date is absolutely matching the color of the dial. Too often you see watches where this is not the case, and um, in terms of aesthetics, it looks simply gorgeous. So you have uh, push buttons, you can screw and unscrew uh, to enhance the water protection. So you can screw unscrew these buttons and it's a chronograph done with an in-house movement, the Gira Perigo Laureato. I love it. Very, very nice watch. This chronograph is the Zenit Defi, the new Defi chronograph. And you know uh, that Zenit is famous for its uh, 36,000 alternations of the balance wheel. So it is with the regular El Primero movement able to measure the one tenth of a second. So it's the only chronograph who's able to do that amongst others, but it was the first and it is 
mostly let's say the, the brand that produces most of these movements with one tenth of a second but this is kind of a turbo if you want or an accelerated El Primero it is measuring the one hundredth of a second and I'm gonna show you now the central hand of the chronograph turning around each second so have a look one two three four five and so on so it's measuring the one hundredths of a second this is uh, technically done by uh, having a second um, escapement in the watch that enables uh, the one the measure uh, the the, the alternance uh, of one hundredths of a second so you see here the balance wheel of the regular el primero uh, um, el primero caliber that is uh, beating at 36,000 and um, uh, be a half beats per minute and then if we will show you that uh, by a focusing inside and zooming into the watch you will see the second balance wheel when you press the button you will see it that enables this spectacular one hundredths of a second also executed in blue blue seems to be very trendy we just saw the laureato with a blue dial here you have an open work dial but parts of the open work uh, parts of the movement that you see since it's open work is in blue looks gorgeous and uh, yeah the new zenith defy chronograph before turning around the next chronograph i do show you the back side what you read here is navi timer 8 so guys did you ever expect breitling to do a navi timer without a slide rule yeah they do what Shosh Khan, the new CEO, did is melting the collection of uh, the Navi, uh, melting uh, the case of the Navi timer with the look of uh, the uh, collection uh, of board instruments they did in the past uh, called Navi timer 8. And he took uh, the best of both worlds and melted it to what you see in the picture. This is the new Navi timer 8 equipped with a non in house movement. Therefore, the price is quite attractive of the watch um, and it's uh, either a Valjoux 7750 or a Celita 5000 used uh, here as the movement. Uh, it's an interesting watch since it's the beginning of a completely new area at Breitling. Um, unexpected, not uh, any long, so technical, so, so uh, uh, technical technical based watches, black watches, uh, watches that are, um, let's say, uh, at home in the military area or in, in at special, special for special, done for special missions. It's a design that is more, um, let's say, soft. It has uh, less, uh, it's less aggressive than it was. And I think it's a design that will please a lot of people who probably didn't like Breitling before because uh, the watches were really in their niche but not really satisfying um, the, the, let's say a taste that is more a taste of a watch you want to wear on, on a common day and uh, not only for one of your special missions in your life. So the Navi Timer 8, nice watch. Once again, you see the logo, Navi Timer and the 8. It's a certified chronometer. As always at Breitling, everything they do is 100% certified by COSC, the Swiss uh, independent uh, chronometer testing institute a nice watch beautiful and never say navy timer guys so if i hear you saying navy timer it's wrong it is navy timer because it had a slide rule and it was made for doing navigation calculations the watch you see now is the portuguese yacht club from iwc schaffhausen the brand that celebrates its 150th anniversary this year and it's also a combination or let's say the best of two worlds on the one hand side of the elegance of the Portuguese Collection on the other side it's uh, the, uh, the inspiration of the Yacht Cube watches IWC manufactured in the past. What is pretty particular this chronograph uh, compared to other chronographs uh, I just quickly want to show you this by taking once again quickly the Breitling you see the Breitling has three counters there's one counter for the running second and there are two counters, one measuring the hours when you start the chronograph and the other one measuring the minutes. IWC did something very clever. They integrated the entire measurement of the chronograph in the, in the dial that is positioned at 12 o'clock. 
So meanwhile, you see the chronograph running. I started it uh, before this uh, filming and you see that it is running. The chronograph runs for 25 minutes. You just read the little dial as you read the time on your watch. So it's so easy to read. You see 25 minutes and 40 seconds. You don't have to look twice because it's intuitive. You just look at the dial at 12 o'clock. It's uh, functioning like a watch, like a clock with two hands and you see 25 minutes, 50 seconds and now the hand uh, is approaching 26 and we are approaching with the red second hand 20 seconds, 26 minutes. The running second is here, the time, very nice timepiece, intelligent solution of IWC with of course done an in-house movement. So that's an in-house chronograph movement manufactured in Schaffhausen, developed in Schaffhausen. So a very nice watch, waterproof, done for sea, sailing and so on. Very nice watch. With the A. Lange und Söhne 1815 chronograph, we are entering, let's say, another dimension of chronographs. It's still a chronograph, but when I turn the watch around, you will very, very quickly discover we are in another world. There is no comparable chronograph movement on the market that is as beautiful aesthetically done as the movement of the 1815 chronograph. That's, in, uh, that's the movement that is also used in the datograph. That's the version of the chronograph with the big date indication. So this is the executional version without the big date. It's um, a very, very, very sophisticated chronograph. Every single part is, has been polished and has been treated with a lot of uh, with, with a lot of time and it is a chronograph that offers you also a flyback function so you start the chronograph you see the second hand running and when you push the reset button the second hand will fly back to zero and restart without the need of pressing the start button here the normal way to stop a chronograph is stop reset to zero and the flyback function that is integrated in this 1815 chronograph offers you the possibility to restart whatever you need to check or it to need you need to time just by pressing the set uh, the reset button and you will see that the chronograph hand is flying back to zero and as soon as you unrelease the button the watch starts again from zero and you can start in the next measurement it's an unbelievable beautiful chronograph in a white gold case <clears throat> and once again guys <clears throat> please have a look to this beautiful movement i hope guys you enjoyed my little presentation of those five chronographs and um, what i would be interested now is to know from you which one you like most so take some time and write a comment on the video what we what you have just seen and tell us which of the five chronographs you like most so guys thank you very much for watching our little presentation of chronographs uh, some amazing among them really amazing pieces and if you guys now are interested to buy one don't forget to screen or to get uh, with your iPhone on the QR code if you come to Lucerne if you come to embassy you will be you will have a little surprise they will offer you a very very Swiss surprise it's about chocolate I can tell you and it's very delicate and very sweet thanks for watching guys don't forget to like our videos on YouTube if you have seen them on YouTube and thanks for watching